Hey everyone, welcome back to the Our Society Experiment. Uh, I want to talk a little bit today about the virtual municipalities. So right now our society is in a beta, it's an you know, open and free election campaign platform. But when we originally built it, we built in functionality to create virtual community platforms as well. And you can still see that in the beta when you sign up, you're assigned to a virtual municipality. Now that municipality typically doesn't, in most cases, is not going to have someone assigned up. Uh, but we do have some test examples, as you can see on your screen right now. This is one, what one looks like for North Brunswick, New Jersey. And we just want to kind of briefly review this with you, just so you're aware of, of what this is uh, when you click into it and why it's not functioning. So it's, it's not functioning because we had to, you know, just because of both time and money constraints, we had to pick a direction we wanted to go in uh, when developing the platform. And with 2018 being such a critical election year for the state of New Jersey, we wanted to make sure that we focused on something that could really have the most immediate impact uh, and empowerment to individuals running for office. The virtual municipalities kind of is a town and community empowerment station where we can harvest the collective potential of the citizens within a community to create improvements and change for the community. Uh, on the top, and you can see it on your screen right now, this is where we'd have the mayor's picture, so the leader of the community. In, in this specific example, we have North Brunswick, New Jersey's mayor, Francis Mac Womack. Uh, Mac and the administration of North Brunswick, and I should also just note the administration of Highland Park, um, have been incredibly helpful to our site experiment. They've given us a lot of time, they've let us you know, communicate with us a lot, and although we've decided to go in a different direction, we're still kind of in touch with them. Uh, for the potential in the future of having them be on board for the, the community platform. Uh, again, you, if you scroll down here, you can see this section where it says articles, policies, plans, and vision. Very similar to the candidate profile, except these are town-wide. So the, the idea was if someone as a community contributor wanted to get involved and wanted to submit content and ideas and ways to improve the community, they could do so. Uh, and the only way they have to do that is you know, write to our society, especially in the beta, and say, hey, I want to be able to contribute. Uh, and we could switch it on their profile so they could post articles to their town uh, for ways to improve the town. Uh, this was you know, the idea of, of bringing the town hall to home so you can make a, an impact in your community now without having to go to a meeting at 7 p.m. on a Tuesday. You can reach your fellow constituents and reach your fellow peers in your community uh, and give them your perspective on problems that need to be solved in the community. Um, now, the community platform is subject to the same restrictions that the candidate platform is. Uh, it must be issue focused, it must be fact focused, you must present clear plans of action. Again, this is about empowering individuals who want to make change, not being a social sounding board like Facebook, for example. That's not the function of our society uh, or nor what we want to do. As you scroll down more, you can see on the, the screen right now, you'll see the town commons, which has your elected officials uh, and the v videos they could post. So um, ideally in the future, as we expand this aspect of the platform, communities can have a centralized, unified platform of way of communicating with their constituents. Much like the free and open election campaign platform, we wanted to cut through all the noise uh, found on traditional community websites, uh, cut through the design and, and present a more aesthetically appealing and easy to use design. Um, and that's kind of what we did with the Arsati Virtual Municipalities. Finally, on the bottom, you'll notice the community contributors section on your screen right now. This is where if you wanted to get involved and submit you know, information to your community, you then become a public facing community member. And that's a very important function. At its core, our society exists to promote civic engagement. Uh, and we do that through design tools to make civic engagement as easy and convenient as possible. The community contributors section is a pathway to leadership for citizens within a community. Let's say, for example, you wanted to offer an improvement idea based on your experience and your observations to your community. Well, instead of having to run uh, or go to a town hall or run for office get your idea heard, you could post it to your community platform. And people will see that it's your idea, and then people can upvote or downvote the article to kind of give some litmus on the popularity of it. Um, and these articles, of course, are subject to the same restrictions that the candidate profiles are. It's about creating you know, valid content, not about you know, slandering or anything like that. Um, and the idea is that this provides you an opportunity to become a leader in your community through the convenience of your own home um, while being able to flesh out your ideas and not being attacked personally or anything like that. Uh, and then as you continually do this, community members will see more and more of your content 
And then should you decide to run for a local office or a local leadership position, you've already spent time and effort sharing your ideas and your vision with your community, uh, and you're already recognized as a contributor and a leader. Um, so we believe that this is a much more direct pathway to involvement uh, and a pathway to becoming elected for office using our free campaign software that would essentially tie into this platform providing a way for you to become a more empowered citizen and become more involved in your community and you know, the lifestyle that surrounds it. So don't be surprised when you see this. Again, we just wanted to explain it to you. It's not going to be completely functional uh, at the time of launch of our MVP of the free and open campaign platform. But of course, you, you might have questions. You might explore around and poke around and, and wonder what it is. So we wanted to, you know, in the effort of transparency, talk to you about it, let you know what it was, um, hear your feedback on it. If you have any feedback, how we can improve it. One idea that's not going to be implemented, but we were going to implement, um, we had, we began to work on it before we switched, was in, you know, having a quick polling system uh, or a quick announcement blurb. We do have an events tab that you saw earlier, uh, but maybe just like a more like a, a message in your inbox or something within the platform for community announcements relevant to you, like school closings or roadway damage or you know construction, wherever the case may be. Uh, but again, just just upgrading community, right? Creating a community 2.0. Um, that works with you know, our, your lifestyle and, and your, you know, makes it more convenient to understand your community and be involved. So thanks so much for tuning in today's uh, Making the Movement uh, about the community platforms, the virtual municipalities, and, and what they are and, and what they were intended to be, uh, and, and more importantly, what they will be. So thanks so much. We'll see you guys next time.